Hello, this is Ed, your CNC machining instructor. I'm going to go over the Immerse to Learn G Code projects 1 through 5. Uh, if you notice this sheet here, I may highlighted this and uh, the handouts won't be in red. But uh, number one thing is use blueprint coordinates, not the center of tool. I know it looks like it's pointing to the center of the tool, but. Uh, just go to the uh, the corner of the part, and in uh, when you go to run a program like it's built like this, you need to go into the tool offset geometry diameter column and set the diameter for just the tools that have cutter comp, which is going to be your your end mills. Drills don't get cutter comp. Face mills don't get cutter comp. Taps just a your side cutting tools and only if it has cutter comp. And if you were in like CAD CAM, it would only be the contouring moves. And this is for size adjustment, mainly. But in our hand programming days, it was an easy way for us to write a program without having to do some math and, and find the coordinates of the center of the tool versus the coordinates of the part itself. Okay. Um, if it says turn CC off, turn CC on, that's cutter comp. So you have to turn it on and, you know, it's like an entry move and then turn it off. And this uh, diagram right here, the X0, Y0 is in the upper left-hand corner. And this is the fill out the sheet exercise. But I, you could, you could, I'm going to hand these out to you, but... Um, to even make it easier because I'm really not going to look at the sheet. I want to see it in the simulator. Uh, last year we were on uh, remote teaching. We were doing it like this and using an online product called NC Viewer. And it was pretty good, but nothing beats the simulator as far as um, you know, learning how the, uh, how the Haas control works and get around it easy when you're on the machine. And writing some code and understanding the, the core, the basics of G-code. So this is in your Google class here. So it's in um, pro programs one through five. That's the NC code viewer. Uh, this will be my video I put in here. And these are the five programs. Right here is a text file, which is all you really need to put in the controller to run this. This is fill in the blanks student sample but I would put in uh, your own so right now this uh, I know you can't download in class to do this you can do it at home but what I would do is pull up um, notepad you should be able to get a notepad on your computer uh, I don't know why I have Notepad Plus, but or I was going to say that yeah, that WordPad that usually pops up when you're running. Uh, actually, let me try that when you're running your uh, G code out of your real machine. There, where the heck is WordPad? In? Let me just type it in. Uh, there it is, right there. WordPad. Alright, so if I have WordPad here, I would just copy and paste all this stuff and put it in a document you can save. Right here, paste. Okay, got most of it, so I can just fill this out as needed. Uh, it's got little spaces in between. I don't know if that's. That's why I, I prefer Notepad. Notepad's even simpler paste right there I would use this and in this case you would just fill in the blanks so if I just I don't really need this anymore don't save that and let me shut this one off get my notepad and I get my uh, what happened to my PDF file here? Oh, I'm in the wrong one. I want the this one here. All right. 
So we put these side by side right here. I can actually, now personally, I take a pencil and I write down all my coordinates. So they're giving you some here. But like point B, point C, D, E, it'll be on your sheet. So uh, point, let's see, let's go to this sheet. Right here it says uh, starting point right here, missing X and Y. Where's the starting point? Right, right there. So I'll put minus 1.0 and the Y is minus 6.0. Okay. So put that in and I got everything up to here. Did you, let me look at the sheet again. Right there, point B I have, I don't have point C, D, and E. C, D, and E. So I go up here and go, okay, this is X0, so this is 5, so that's X5. Right, point zero. And it's going to D, that is, where is that? This is 0, that would be negative 5, point zero, or 0, 0, or 0, 0, 0, but you don't really need all that. And where's point E? Point E is to the left of this. So that's negative X land. And it lines up with this one. So I'm going to make that minus 1.0. And what are the G's? This is a, okay, a G01 exercise. This is a linear interpolation is the big word for that. And technically, this will run with just one G01. But you want to kind of understand this. And then you got to fill in the end, the cut a comp off point F, put that there, put this in the controller, like the one behind me. So I'm going to take this here, I'm going to do file, save as, put in my USB, give it, a, give it a name, and if it says TXT at the end, let me get a USB here. Put it in my computer up here. All right. Okay. I need to send, save it. Oh, before you do that, though, you really want to put your name up here. Like Pokey, maybe put Pokey One. Right. So when I save it, I can save it as a name or that file name. So save as P O K E Y One dot text. I'm going to put it on my uh, desktop. No, I'll put it on my USB. I'm sorry. USB. Hit save. It's in. Let's see if my simulator is on here. There it is. Take my simulator. USB. Put it in the side. Right there. I'm in mill, hit list programs, USB enter, uh, pokey text right there. I'm going to do F2, send it to memory. There it is. Put it in the graphics. Oop. Hit cycle start to get that message. Hit cycle start again. It says X over travel range. Because I have no geometry offsets in here, I need to put in some fake offsets. Minus 10. Uh, hit yes. Minus 10. Yes. And I'm using tool 10, so I'm going to put some fake offsets in tool 10. It'll be geometry. Negative five, hit yes, memory graphics, oops, press the button, cycle start. Done. All right. You call me over. I say it looks good. 
done okay that's all you really need to do and we have just have got this one and I want to see the first one so we can work out any kinks and they just get a little bit a little more shapes this is a G2 exercise which is a clockwise arc G3 has counterclockwise and these are just like on these it's as you go along it's fill in the blanks so if this one has more blanks than this one the best thing to do is look at this program and see what you can scoop from that one right like this one's missing the spindle speed and an H what's an H H10 T10 okay I just keep on looking back at the other ones and I can fill in all this stuff and this one is a G3 exercise using I's and J's as incremental distances where some of these use R's all that stuff is in the Haas Mill workbook this one's got a lot of places you gotta fill in you should have a pretty good grasp on it by now and right here same thing we just got a lot of a lot more blanks to fill in that's about it so uh, so start with your first one put on USB call me over I look at it either thumbs up or thumbs down it's gonna be thumbs up and then we'll go back and we'll finish two through five same thing I get I need to see it run in the simulator and then uh, when that's done I check it off we put it in the homework box you get credit okay that's about it for me so ta-ta see you later